The Rwanda news is a massive distraction. Only 2% of the illegal immigrants will actually be going to Rwanda, and that's even if it comes into fruition. As I've said numerous times before, it's probably not going to happen. And if it does, it's not going to happen how people think they are. What's really happened is we've signed a migration pact deal with Rwanda to take all of Rwanda's asylum seekers. And what are they going to take in, in, to, in response for that? We're going to take the odd 500 illegal immigrants that arrive, which by summer, that will just be half a day's arrivals. Where they're really going is to places like Linton on Ooze and Staffordshire at the old university buildings, which is right next to a child's school. And they're giving them like mini asylum villages. Like for instance, Linton on Ooze. That is not like the Napier Barracks incident where they're enclosed in a camp. Linton on Ooze is the camp. The entire village is the camp. They're literally taking over. Conservative commentators are literally taking credit for the weather and claiming that the Rwanda news is a deterrent and stopping these people from coming over. Conservative MPs are taking credit for the weather, saying that it's the reason that none have come over. It's quite normal to go a week, maybe two weeks, sometimes even three, without illegal immigrants coming over. This isn't because of Rwanda, it's happened numerous times before. Anyone who covers illegal immigration knows this. What's really happening is we're creating a safe route from Africa for illegal immigrants to come. Because now the loophole has been set where you can claim asylum in Rwanda and you can eventually end up in England. This is the reality of the situation. And whilst the left are claiming that it is racist to send Africans back to Africa, the reality is Africans are still coming here via Rwanda. It's one big smoke and mirrors game and people are falling for it dramatically. Oh, and before I forget, Guess who's got the contract of processing all of these illegal immigrants in Rwanda? That's right, Rishi Sunak's father-in-law. The whole thing's just an absolute laughing stock. It's all about making money. It's not about solving this problem at all because if they wanted to solve this problem, what they would really do is simply make a deal to stop them coming over in the first place. If you can't make a deal, you physically stop them from coming over. Because there is no deterrent in place to stop the French from escorting illegal immigrants over. There's no deterrent in place to stop human traffickers. Because all they're saying is we're sending to Rwanda and we've finished a job for you. And everyone knows they're not going to Rwanda. They're going to hotels. They're getting put into council houses. They're going to these new asylum villages that they're building. That's the reality of this situation. And anyone who tells you otherwise is lying to you. So where are these illegal immigrants going? Well, apart from going to four or five star hotels, some of these hotels are luxury hotels that the average British person could only dream of affording. But that's neither here nor there. The reality is where they're going is to hotels. They're getting placed into council houses. They're going to places like Linton or News, which as you can see, is like a massive ghost town at the moment, which will be filled out with all of the illegal immigrants and the staff that's required for them, which most of them usually come from a migration background as it is. So the reality of the situation is they're not going abroad. They're not being processed in Rwanda like the media claim. The deterrent is not working. What's actually happening is they're playing a smoke and mirrors game before the local elections. And they don't want you to see that they are actually building asylum villages in the UK, making tiny little enclaves for them. And the problem is growing rapidly. But you, all you're seeing from all the people on TV and these commentators claiming that they're on our side, but what they're doing is misleading the public, making out like this plan's going to work. And then when it doesn't work, they'll backtrack on it and go, oh, the human rights lawyers stopped this. They're the reason it didn't work. When in reality, the plan was never going to work. These people know it's not going to work, but they're making money out of spinning a lie. And it needs calling out because ultimately we're the ones that suffer for it. So if they're going to carry on making lies, we need to call it out. The reality of the situation is they're not going anywhere. They never were. Before I forget as well, stand up to racism. We're in the streets saying they're going to set up a new smuggling route to get the people out of Rwanda and back over to England. They're literally calling to set up a new smuggling route. And when they say new smuggling route, that implies that they've already got smuggling routes in place, which we already know. They're all connected. They're all involved in this massive chain migration program. And they're just openly calling for it, admitting that they're going to do another one. Nobody seems to care. But here's the woman saying it herself. This is not, there's nothing humanitarian about these measures. There's nothing about this that will stop smuggling networks that will stop people who are desperate 
from getting into boats, from risking their lives. All we're going to do is create a new smuggling route for the people to get back out of Rwanda and seek safety at last in a country that won't turn its back on them. And I hope by then we'll have turned this country into a country that will never turn its back on refugees again. All we're going to do is create a new smuggling route for the people to get back out of Rwanda and seek safety at last in a country that won't turn its back on them. All we're going to do is create a new smuggling route for the people to get back out of Rwanda.